So uh, this is future me here, Jack from September. I am uh, I'm not going to do this from my bathroom. I mean, not the most interesting of backdrops, my apologies, but the light is fantastic. Yeah, it's been a while. It's taken me a long time to get this video out. I have filmed all of it and put it all together. It comes to over an hour in total, so I thought rather than just sticking an hour video together, I'd put it out into four sections. So this episode, episode one, is all about the, uh, the start. So Tuesday for me is the start of the journey for Reading, all the way down, to, all the way to Thursday night. So yeah, this one here is, uh, it's got no music in it, but there's lots of funny stuff that happens. So it's got a weird format. I, 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 I tried to vlog, I f***ed it up, and then when I went and recorded the narration, it also didn't make a lot of sense because I was going to do it in one big video. So let me know what you think. Anyway, here you go. Vlog 001. <sighs> Another year done. Another year done. Oh goodness me, what a year, what a journey it's been. So, this was my 12th time at Reading Festival. Um, my first one was in 2008, I've been every year since. And uh, a very different one this year. This year I had to, I had to travel in from, from Australia. We've been, me and my partner Lauren, we've been living in Australia on the other side of the planet for the last year. And uh, when we moved there was one thing yeah. that was going to be consistent across, across this. And that was that there was no way I was going to miss out on Reading Festival. Initially, we were going to be back in the country by that point, and then we decided to stay a little longer, so uh, I had to book tickets to come. I'll be flying back on Monday, so it's all uh, coming to coming close. Pussy cat. So it was always going to be a little bit different, <clears throat> and this year was amazing. On top of that, I created this channel and this connection. I mean, this channel existed before, but not, I'd never really put any proper time into it. We went through every single band and reviewed them. I think there's a couple that are still due to come out. I'd like to put them out. If you're happy to see them, then I'll put them out. I've recorded them. I just need to edit them and upload them. But an amazing year. Never have I been able to walk around and just know something about every single band. We met up some girl on the Friday and she like followed us to Seagulls and then we went off and watched uh, No Rome and she was asking like who they were and stuff and I had facts to reel off about them even though I don't really know who know their music that much. And that was such a unique experience to be able to do that. It was so, so odd. On top of that, it was just an amazing year. I mean, it was so, 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 so good. I've got loads of footage. I thought that rather than doing like a tra traditional vlog, I tried to do like a vlog, like a hey guys, what's up thing. And I kind of stopped halfway through. So I think best if I just walk through what happened and we can cut in between that clips of, of what went on and, and now. So it start, all started on the Tuesday. Um, I was up in Leeds with my mum and very fortunately, my girlfriend's parents live very close to the festival site in Reading. So I actually have the ability to drive in and out as much as is as, as kind of um, we need, obviously, without having to take take advantage, which is which is the key part there. But so my journey starts in Leeds. I got the train down to to Reading, where they where they live, via London. to be back in London. What a weird and wonderful feeling this is. I'm carrying a significant amount of luggage right now. And I'm just about to go and meet. Got a little bit of a break. Got 25 minutes until my train. So I'm gonna go meet an OG friend, OG Reading friend, Mr. Jack Bennett. Let's get fine. Then uh, a train from Paddington to Reading, change at Reading, and I left my luggage on the train. I f***ed up. When I said next stop Reading, I got off the train and left my luggage on there. Now that's a problem because every single garment of my life is in that bag and I left it on the train. So I'm currently gonna go to Oxford to see if I can find a pickup. This is not what I want the night before Reading Festival. <sighs> Following this, uh, went on a bit of a wild goose chase around the kind of rural Berkshire train stations trying to see if my luggage was there. No one could, no one could help. So 
Fortunately, I had a spare pair of clothes in my bag, which just needed to be washed, so I could wear something for the next couple of days. And I had everything I needed for Reading, it's just that I didn't have any clothing. Well, I've gone to fucked up. Case of the missing case is uh, still unresolved. Turns out I might have to end up going to Paddington tomorrow morning to go find my case. Anyway, back to Reading Festival news. Today, Lil Uzi Vert had to drop out. Sorry if you're a fan of Lil Uzi Vert or, those, or, uh, or his work, but you will not be watching his music at this year's festival. He has had to drop out at the last minute. Because of that, Enter Shikari have moved up into his space. Youngblood has moved up into their space and swimmers have been moved to the main stage basically making Sunday the most perfect day ever happened at Reading Festival. Obviously if you're a fan of that Lisa Bert, my apologies, he's quite a big name to drop out at the last minute, that's kind of not cool, I'm, I'm not okay with that either, not fun. Add to the list that I had already added, I think that makes seven names, that's a significant amount compared to previous years. After kind of giving up on, the, on that for the evening, I then decided to go home, found out this troll website that had announced that the 1975 had cancelled. Am I fucking reading this right? Due to unforeseen circumstances, the 1975 are no longer able to play the Reading and Leeds. Because of the short notice, Royal Blood will take the headlines on the main stage. Are you fucking kidding me? You know, so much, so much cancelled this year, it was bizarre. So, like a chump, I believed it. Then I realised that it was fake and that made sense. So I wake up on Wednesday morning, still no bag. Over the past few years, what I've decided to start doing with the queue is to get there as early as possible. Because it, 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 sitting in a queue is one thing, if it's not moving. If it's moving, it's different. I can sit for four hours in a queue, that's no problem. It's when it's, if it's moving, that's not very fun. Which, if you, the later you leave it, the longer that you'll be moving slowly through a queue. So we decided to get there pretty early. I, I met Will at 11 o'clock in Reading, that's my little brother, and Reading partner. And we decided to skip the pub like we did last year and just go straight to the queue. Apart from anything else, we were both broke this year. So we um, had to be watching like, how much money we were spending on silly things. So the case of the missing case is still very much unresolved. Who knows where my luggage is? My entire life is in a bag and I don't know where it is. <laughs> Funny. So I'm here at Goring Street Station, my tent. And uh, I'm about to go in and meet my little brother. We're going to go join the queue at some point in the next two days and he's going to buy myself some clothing because this is going to be very gross very quickly. Fun, 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 fun. So that uh, thing about the 1975 filling up last night was funny. Not. That was a, uh, a little meme that someone had started or someone to troll Reading and Leeds fans, but hey ho, it's all, all part of it. Uh, really excited to check out some of the bands this year. God, I need to go get in that field very quickly. Nearly there, soon soon. We arrived at the queue at about 11.30 and the gates opened just before two this year. So we had a little bit of a wait but you know, time goes so quickly in that queue. Everyone's so excited. The sun was out. It was lovely. You can't go wrong really. If it was raining it'd be a different story. Once we got through, we decided to set up camp. Got our, got our wristbands. Oh, we'll move that one out of the way. Got got our wristbands for for this year. We done it. Straight to the end. Go that way. Check it. You're all good. You done? Yeah. Beer time. Oh, it's beer time. Uh, it's tent time. Beer time. Tent time. Then beer time. You're right. You are right. Right. Let's go find a spot. Oh, it's as busy than I'd like it to be. I see some fucking nicked our spot. And uh, then went through and set up camp. So we've got our spot every year. And we're going to make sure that we're as close to the front so we can go get that spot. Because we don't want it stolen. Camped up next to a, a huge group of, of kiddies again this year. Must have been 16, 17, just fresh out of school. It's adorable. There was a, an army of them as well. And then some guy came over to us and was like, were you here last year? Oh, mate. Oh. Were you here last year? Yeah. Yeah, of course I Oh, God. This happens all the time because we camp in the same spot and people come and go. Eventually someone comes over and goes, I recognise you. And I didn't recognise who he was. No idea who he was. Right, let's get some more shit. Camp is officially set up. Until later on in the evening and then I saw some of his mates and it all kind of made sense about kind of where they were so and it was quite fun. 
We then went off to go get some of the rest of our stuff. One of the benefits of having someone who lives nearby is that you can do a couple of trips. You don't have to take it all in one. I literally just went in with my tent and my phone and then went and picked the rest of the stuff up later. If you do have someone nearby in Reading that can do that for you, trust me, it makes it such a better experience. Following that, we went back, set up the kind of the rest of it, tables, tents, chairs, that kind of stuff, and headed uh, up to Tesco to get some supplies on the boat. It's kind of tradition for me and whoever I'm with to on the Wednesday to go and get some stuff, which just kind of leaves you to do nothing on the Thursday, which is what we wanted. So we got it all out of the way on the Wednesday, and finally, by about seven o'clock, sat down for our first beer. It was glorious. Abby? Hello, it's nice. Keep the cool in. It's already. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> We're all now set up. Will has the biggest tent that he's ever owned. I have an insanely sized tent, which is always fun. It's time to get drunk and get to know everyone. Sunglasses, because you're cool? Yeah. Sweet. We, after this point, got a little bit um, inebriated, stocious, um, drunk, and decided to go for a little bit of a walk around the site. <laughs> uh, whilst in the queue, we had decided that the queue is not fun anymore, especially nearing 30, and that maybe it's time to start looking into the, uh, the caravan site. I actually have a van for a business that we've got back here, uh, which isn't being used at the moment. So we're thinking about decking that out and clamping that next year. Any van upgrades or festival workings that anyone's used before if you uh, want to send them my way then that would be amazing so but we decided you know the, the caravan site is in white camp which is a long way away from the arena it's about as far as you can get and we just thought i wonder how long it would take we timed it right we're we're just we're toying with the idea of camping in the caravan park next year so we're going to time how long it takes to get from caravan park entrance to the yellow entrance Yellow, yellow entrance, yeah. Yellow, yellow entrance. entrance is a green entrance. Yeah, I, th I think yellow might be might be closer. Just, just the pre pre equidistant is a good word. Equidistant. So we're going to yeah, time it, it from here. Well, this campsite is dead on a Wednesday night. Absolutely dead. Dead. Fucking dead. Fucking dead. <laughs> it's a lovely bridge, though. It's a nice bridge. Is it? Is it? Nineteen minutes. Nineteen minutes from the. Where was it? White camp. From the White Camp Caravan car parking area, which is f***ing dead, to the entrance in yellow, 19 minutes. Is that worth it? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, if you think about it, if there's someone we want playing at 12, that means you've got to leave at half past. You have to leave at half past 11. Because you've got to get the beer in early. you got to beer in early. got to get the beer in early. All things to consider. Yes. Wednesday night was the first night in the tent. I had a great sleep. I always seem to sleep really well at Reading. But the beginnings of hay fever started to kick in. It's not something I usually do. I don't know if it's just because I've been in Australia. I started to feel really like congealed and bunned up. Oh, I know it's not the prettiest sight in the world. First night done. Wasn't that bad? Well, are you wait. You sound very far away. You sound very far away. Yeah. Yeah, because his head is f***ing huge. Oh. Feeling a little sick. I need to stop that out. I think what's happened is, because it's so dry here, there's so much dust around that it has thrown up into my sinuses. What? There's a grasshopper in Will's tent. We had a slow morning. Just chilling out before heading into town via the pub, of course. Oh. What is it? Oh. I needed a new wardrobe because I still don't have my luggage. And decided to go meet up with my friend Jack again. He actually comes home via Reading, so it kind of made sense to go meet up with him for a beer, discuss old lineups and all that kind of jazz. It was all fun. Oh, it's Thursday. Oh, it's Thursday. What are we doing with Thursday, Will? Drunk. So, for many, many years, for many, many years, we went to uh, Reading with my buddy Jack Bennett, who I might be calling me right now. Jack Bennett, I was just talking about you to my camera. Yeah, not too bad. Where are you? Okay, we will be there. We'll be be at the, the station there. 
All right, meet at the pub at the station, yeah? Anyway, we're going to meet Joe Bennett. He's going to be there at 5 to 5. It's now 20 past 4. So you go right one? Please go right now and get some, get some clothes. Otherwise, I'll be too drunk to buy them and I'll be selling. <laughs> oh, Thursday. Well, stupid day of the year. This is the stupidest day of the year, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's the because middle Because you've done everything set up and there's nothing left to do except to drink. See, if Bennett was here, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to walk next year. Next year. The good thing about Thursday, there's nothing to do, so you get to just kind of chill out a bit, which is something I desperately needed, especially following 193 videos of who the f***. We then headed back to the campsite for the evening, beer in hand. We're now back in, back in to, to campsite, chief beer in hand. Oh, wait, it's off. Are you enjoying that there? Yeah, lovely. It's delicious. Thursday night's a very peculiar thing in the uh, in the world of a Reading festival. Because everyone's kind of moved in and just getting comfortable for the evening, and no one really knows what the fuck they're doing. So alcohol is is spreading like wildfire. All the kiddies have got the GCSE results and they're getting pissed for the first time. And uh, it's all about having a lot of fun, really. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're just gonna carry on, have a few drinks. I've got some new clothes now, which is wonderful. And uh, I guess kind of plan our set for tomorrow because tomorrow's a big one. Will's extremely excited to see the chats. I'm extremely excited to see the chats. And there's some wonderful bands tomorrow. Blocks. I'm excited to see Ocean Alley. I'm excited to see. So I think that's on the agenda for tonight. Plus a little wander around, shouting at people because that's always fun as well. It's good to be back home. And just kind of sat and enjoyed it all. That campsite is like nothing else. These days, I feel very old. But it's still wonderful, you know, seeing the sunset over, over those tents is a sight I'll never get bored of. It's just really wonderful. Oh, and check out this time lapse I took. Oof. We then decided to have a quick jaunt, jaunt around the arena. It's the first night it's open. Everyone is super excited. <laughs> Spending obscene amounts of money on rides. By Sunday, everyone's a lot more serious. It's very funny. You turn up a boy and end a man, or a girl and leave a woman, or the other way around, who knows? And then decided to head back to the campsite and uh, call it a night. At the end of the day, we're going for 40 here. We're going for 40 bands. I want to get as much energy as I can for music. Gone are the days of drinking, playing Danger Cam until five o'clock in the morning on a Thursday. No, it's all about the music for me these days. I don't have the energy that those kids do anymore. Goodness me. So that was the end of the first episode. In the next video, which should come out tomorrow, we talk about what happened on the Friday, um, which is the first day of music. Goodness me, it's so hot, hot back in Australia. It's just, it's, this is like a Reading weekend. It was, it's just as boiling. In fact, it's hotter today than it is when it was there. And it's only spring here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the first episode in this little mini series. It should be four in total. Uh, there should be a little, a little shorter going forward as well. Should is the keyword. That might not happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.